Hi guys, I am going to talk about awk programming in Unix. Let us see the contents what we are going to discuss in awk. Contents are introduction followed by simple awk filtering, splitting line into fields, printf formatting output, variables and expressions, the comparison operator, number processing, the begin and end section, built in variables, arrays, functions, control flow and looping. Let us see the introduction first. Awk is a programmable, pattern matching and processing tool available in Unix. It works equally well with text and numbers. It derives its name from the first letter of the last name of three authors namely Alfred V. A. Ho, Peter J. Weinberger and Brent W. Cunningham. Next we are going to see simple Awk filtering. Awk Utility is a pattern scanning and processing language. It searches one or more files to see if they contain lines that match specified patterns and then perform associated actions such as writing the line to the standard output or incrementing a counter each time it finds a match. So syntax is like this, Awk, Option, Selection Criteria, Action, File. Here, Solution criteria filters input and selects line for the action component to act upon. The selection criteria is enclosed within single quotes and the action within the curly braces. Both the selection criteria and action forms an awk program. Let us see one example awk followed by manager print emp list. In the above example, manager is the solution criteria which selects lines that are processed in the action section that is print. Since the print statement is used without any field specifier, it prints the whole line. There is one note regarding the solution criteria. If no selection criteria is used, then action applies to all the lines of the file. Awk uses regular expression in SCD style for pattern matching. As we know in SCD we were using regular expression in the same manner. Awk also uses regular expression. Next we are going to see about splitting lines into fields. Awk uses special parameter $0 to indicate entire line. It also uses $1, $2, $3 to identify fields. These special parameters have to be specified in the single quotes so that they will not be interrupted by the shell. Auth uses contiguous sequence of spaces and tabs as a single delimiter. So we can see one example here, awk followed by f production print $2, $3, $4, EMP list. In the example, comma is used to delimit the field specification to ensure that each field is separated from the other by space so that the program produces a readable output. Here, the keyword that is selection criteria production is searched for the field 2, 3 and 4 in the emp.lst. The minus f function we are going to study in the future slide. Next we are going to see printf formatting output. The printf statement can be used with the awk to format the output. Awk accepts most of the format used by the printf function of C. For example, here you can see the example. Here, the name and designation have been printed in spaces 20 and 12 characters wide respectively. The printf requires slash n to print a new line after each line. nr is the built-in variable which signifies the record number of current line which we will see in the future slide. Next topic is redirecting standard output. The print and printf statements can be separately redirected with the greater than and or symbols. 
any command or a file name that follows these redirection symbols should be enclosed within double quotes. Let us see one example. Use of, so greater than symbol we have used here. So which will print the same which we have seen in the above example. So it will print the same thing. Next we are going to study variables and expressions. Variables and expression can be used with awk as used with any programming language. Here expression consists of strings, numbers and variables combined by operators. Awk does not have any data types and every expression is interpreted either as a string or a number. However, awk has the ability to make conversion whenever required. A variable is an identifier that references a value. To define a variable, you only have to name it and assign it a value. The name can only contain letters, digits and underscores and may not start with a digit. Case distinctions in variable names are important. As you can see here, the salary, one which begins with capital letter and one with the small letter are two different variables. Awk allows the use of user-defined variables without declaring them. Variables are case sensitive. If variables are not initialized by the user, then implicitly they are initialized to zero. Strings in awk are enclosed within double quotes and can contain any character. Awk strings can include escape sequence, octal values as well as hexa values also. Octal values are preceded by forward slash and hexa values are preceded by forward slash followed by x. Strings that do not consist of numbers have a numeric value of 0. Next we are going to see the comparison operator. Awk also provides the comparison operators like greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, equal to, not equal to, etc. So let us see one example here. Awk followed by minus f dollar 3 equals to manager or dollar 3 equal to chairman so print f dollar 2 dollar 3 dollar 5 emp dot lst the above command looks for two strings that is manager and chairman only in the third field the second string is attempted only if the first match fails that is if it fails to search manager in the third field then only it will check the chairman the regular expression operators. In awk, special characters called regular expression operators or meta characters can be used with regular expression to increase the power and versatility of regular expression. To restrict a match to a specific field, two regular expression operators we are going to use one for matches and other one for does not match. The following table depicts the comparison and regular expression matching operators as I already said less than, less than or equal to, equal to, not equal to, greater than or equal to, greater than matches a regular expression, does not match as a regular expression. Next we are going to see number processing. Numeric computation can be performed in awk using the arithmetic operators like plus, minus, division, multiplication, modulus. One of the main feature of awk with respect to number processing is that it can handle even decimal numbers which is not possible in shell. Number comparison. Awk has the ability to handle numbers. It can handle integer type as well as floating type also. Relation test or comparison can also be performed on them. Next, we are going to see the F option. You should hold large awk programs in separate file and provide them with the dot awk extension for easier identification. Let's store the program in the file emp awk dot awk. So as you can see here, cat followed by emp awk dot awk. 
This time we haven't used codes to enclose the awk program. We can also use the awk with the minus f that is file name option to obtain the same output. Next we are going to see the begin and end section. Awk statements are usually applied to all lines selected by the address and if there are no addresses then they are applied to every line of input but if you have to print something before processing the first line for example a heading then the begin section can be used gainfully. Similarly the end section useful in printing some totals after processing is over. The begin and end section are optional and take the form begin followed by action and followed by action. Next we are going to see built-in variables. Awk has several built-in variables. They are all assigned automatically though it is also possible for a user to reassign some of them. We have already used NR in our previous example which signifies the record number of the current line. So these are the sum of the variable and their functions. Anna, cumulative number of lines read, fs, input field separator, ofs, output field separator, nf, number of fields in current line, file name that is current input file, argument c that is number of arguments in command line, argument v that is the list of arguments. So these are the variables and their functions. So next we are going to see arrays. An array is also a variable except that this variable can store a set of values or elements. Each element is accessed by a subscript called the index. Awk arrays are different from the ones used in other program languages in many respects. They are not formally defined. An array is Consider declared a moment it is used. Array elements are initialized to zero or an empty string unless initialized explicitly. Arrays expand automatically. The index can be virtually anything. It can even be a string. Associative arrays. Even though we used integers as subscript in the dot array, awk does not treat array indexes as integers. Awk arrays are associative where information is held as a key value pairs. The index is the key that is saved internally as a string. There is no specified order in which the array elements are stored. Environ the environment array. You may sometimes need to know the name of the user running the program or the home directing awk maintains the associative array. So environ to store all environment variables. Next we are going to see functions. Awk has several built-in functions performing both arithmetic and string operations. The arguments are passed to a function in C style, delimited by commas and enclosed by a matched pair of parentheses. Even though awk allows use of functions with or without parentheses like printf and printf one with the braces. POSIX discourages use of functions without parenthesis. There are two arithmetic functions which programmer will accept awk to offer. INT calculates the integral portion of a number without rounding off while SKRT calculates square root of a number. Awk also has some of the common string handling function. So these are the sum of the function and their description listed. First one is int x returns the integer value of x, sqrt of x returns the square root of x, length returns the complete length of line, length of x it will return length of x, sub str stg m comma n returns the portion of string of length n starting from position m in string stg index s1 comma s2 returns the position of string s2 in string s1 split stg comma array comma ch 
split the string std into array arr using ch as delimiter returns the number of fields finally system of cmd it will run the init command cmd and returns its exit status next we are going to see control flow in the control flow first of all we are going to study the if statement awk has practically all the features of modern programming language it has conditional structure that is the if statement and loops that is while or for they all execute a body of statements depending on the success or failure of the control command this is simply a condition that is specified in the list line of the construct the if statement can be used when the ampersand and or found to be inadequate for certain task its behavior is well known to all programmers so this is the structure of if statement if condition is true statement else statement for example if nr is greater than or equal to 3 and nr is less than or equal to 6 so it will check for the condition whether the nr lies in between 3 and 6 another example is if dollar 3 equals to director or dollar 3 equals to chairman it will check the third field for the two keywords that is director and the chairman if it founds then it will return this true statement otherwise it will return the false statement next we are going to see looping in the looping there are two things one is looping with for and looping with while so we will see one by one in that first one is looping with for awk supports two loops as we know for and while they both execute the loop body as long as the control command returns a true value for has two forms the easier one resembles its c counterpart a simple example illustrate the first form for k equal to 0 k is less than or equal to 9 k equal to k plus 2 so this form also consists of three components the first component initializes the value of k the second checks the condition with every iteration while the third sets the increment used for every iteration using for with an associative array the second form of the for loop exploits the associative feature of awk arrays this form is also seen in perl but not in the commonly used languages like c and java the loop select each index of an array so syntax is like this for k in array followed by commands looping with while the while loop has a similar role to play it repeatedly iterates the loop until the command succeeds for example the previous for loop used for centering text can be easily replaced with a while construct for example let us initialize the value of k to 0 while k is less than 55 minus length of the first field divided by 2 if it true only then it will print then it will increment the value of k otherwise it will come out of the loop and it will print dollar 0 conclusion awk like scd violates the do one thing well philosophy that generally characterizes unix tools although presented in this as a utility filter it's more of a scripting language by this i will conclude my topic thanks for watching the video